Hello all, and welcome to Serenity Gardening and Orchids. And I just wanted to share with you two of my gardens that I cleaned up on today. This first garden is my driveway garden as you come into my driveway. And I'll let you see what's here. Down below we have the irises. Then we have tulips, daffodils, which are gone, and more tulips. In the back row, we have a rose bush, and in the middle, another rose bush. On the very end, we have lilies, and those little flowers down there are beautiful yellow flowers. I don't know what they are called, but they come up and they are absolutely gorgeous. So let me pan out. Oh, and in the back, the little uh, border here are daffodils on each side, as you can see. Let me pan out so you can see. And I'm loving it. Um, as you know, I usually put begonias once the tulips are done. I plant begonias straight across that area where the daffodils and the tulips are. So guys, coming straight down my driveway before you get to my door in front of the house. This wall here, this garden here, and I'll share. Those are irises, they're beautiful white irises. So tulip that never quite made it up. Here is a hydrangea. I think that's a twist and shout hydrangea. Some autumn sedum. And I haven't gotten around to planting my pots, guys. I'll take you with me when I go to Home Depot or Lowe's to get some stuff, a huge holster. That's something coming up in that hanging basket. And if you see that little thing, Astro's on the end of it, his leash. There's an azalea that's getting ready to bloom beautifully. I don't know the name of this flowers, but it gets a tall stem with white flowers on it. The back wall. Look at the beautiful flowers that's falling up my back wall. And they go straight to the end and all the way to the beginning of this wall if you can see them all the way to the beginning they're gorgeous i cut them down this morning also because they will take over my garden if i let them right here guys this more autumn sedum there's some kind of grass that gets really pretty under there um that is a i think that's a phlox there's the grass beside it under this plant if you can see it comes up and gets purple flowers. All kind of stuff that's coming up here. And around this hydrangea, that little plant gets more purple flowers too. And guys, that's a little limelight growing there. Okay. More hosta. More irises. There's a tulip. If you can see it. More irises. And that's a quick fire hydrangea. Okay, so let me pan out so you can see it really good. And I'm doing good, guys. Um, so much to do, as you know, I have many, many gardens. But at least I got a nice start here. And the only other thing up front is the little garden I have around the tree. So I might as well share that with you also. One moment. Okay, guys, before I show you around the tree, I almost forgot to show you this beautiful little pine tree that I have here and if you can see it's two different pine bushes we always decorate this every Christmas so we have this one here and it's huge but if you come around this pine we have a different a totally different one growing on this side look guys can you see the difference in the two bushes a big difference and I don't know they must have grown together some kind of way before I even got here and I've been here 28 years guys so I don't know it looks good though my husband just kind of turned it down so here's one kind look at those leaves and then on this side a completely different one okay let me pin out so you can see the difference I'm trying to get them both together in the two bushes Wow, isn't it amazing how they grew together? One moment. Okay, guys, if you look up, this is a Japanese maple right in front of my home. 
it's huge, guys. When I say it's huge, and I'll peer now and walk across the street so you can see. And then there's a huge pine tree right beside it. And that's where my little garden is, under this pine tree. See, they're huge, guys. Under the pine tree, let's walk over there. Okay. We have hostas, the little wild violets. Aren't they gorgeous? I love them. Here is one of those yellow flowers, another hosta, more violets. In the basket, I have a tulip. Those are lilies going around and a rose of sharing bush. You go around the other way so you can see. One moment. And guys, all of this stuff was drying out pretty badly. Um, when I went to do my first watering of the season last week, my hose broke. So I wasn't able to water anything. And look at the hookah. I did get to water today. I got a new hose. So that'll be springing back up. And you know I'll share it with you. So, that's it for today. I just put my hands and tried to fluff up that um, hookah for a moment. In the moment, I will be doing my um, April garden tour, trying to just let everything get in good before I do it and have a chance to clean some things out too. One moment, please. Okay, guys, this is my little garden up front. And as I always say, you're blessed to be a blessing. Try and help someone today. You can also reach me on Instagram at vbaysmore. 11:30. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So before I could even finish editing the garden up front, look what happens. Was just finished and getting ready to upload the video. Came outside, and the irises are in bloom. So I figured I put this on the end. I know I already said bye, but I thought you guys might want to see the irises. Aren't they gorgeous, guys? And there will be plenty of them before you know it. Yes, they are gorgeous. Bye, for real now. Bye-bye. <laughs>